Uh, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, so um, we got a couple minutes, and I just want to point out here um, the way in which we've been using the Hobbes is an example of what I talked about before about the way the past is really important for, for new ideas in the present. Because um, what I want you to, to notice is that when we talked about the claim, reason, evidence, warrant, especially about the warrant, right, we, use, we had this conception that we got from the craft of research, right, and we came to a new conception. And the way we got to the new conception was by integrating one of Hobbes' insights that was not included in this conception of, uh, of argumentation, right? And the insight was that naming is a process whereby a multiplicity is reduced to a unity, right? That definition of words is, uh, is like at the essential process of language, right? And it's, it's something um, that's like this reducing of things to an account, right? And so if we include this idea, we get to this other conception of how an argument works because we're saying that instead of this, you know, instead of this being a warrant up here, this connection of general concepts, what we're saying is that essential to the warrant is that reduction of the evidence to the reason, that reduction of the manifold of the multiplicity into something unified. That's the key concept from Hobbes. It's also the key concept that we're using in order to revise our conception of what an argument is. Because at, at root of what an argument is, it's, it's doing that same thing. It's, well, it's, it's doing that, it's also creating that linkage. But in order to create the linkage, you have to be able to, to, to create that, um, that unity from the evidence, right? And so um, this is just an example of the way in which some idea from, you know, 1651, right, becomes really relevant for today in our thinking about how arguments work, right? So just keep that in mind. We're going to be continuing to do this, okay? Thank you.